dietary fiber fights pesticides. What's up guys, back with another educational video and this week we are talking about the effect of dietary fiber on modulating the risk of hypertension with pesticide ingestion. <gasps> Whew, that's a mouthful. But first, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment for the algorithm. So this study was looking at the exposure to various pesticides and the risk of hypertension, but looking at fiber as a moderating variable. So looking at the risk of hypertension with pesticide ingestion, but also looking at it with high fiber intake or low fiber intake. And I believe high fiber intake was above like 17 grams of fiber per day and low fiber intake was below 17 grams of fiber per day. So kind of a crude analysis, but they adjusted for a few confounding variables. And what they found was exposure to pesticides increased the risk of hypertension modestly, but dietary fiber had the opposite effect. When dietary fiber was high, the risk of developing hypertension from pesticides went away. Dietary fiber from things like fruits and vegetables with pesticides on them. <gasps> so what do I make of this data? I am not convinced at all that the doses of pesticides found on food have negative effects to humans. They are very, very low dose, but Lane, they showed increases in the risk of hypertension. A lot of things have pesticides on them now, and there's a lot of confounding variables with that. The risk of hypertension could be due to a myriad of things, a myriad of confounding variables outside of pesticide exposure. And if it was pesticide exposure, then why, oh why, do fibrous foods, which include fruits, vegetables, grains, cereals, all things which get sprayed with pesticides, why does the risk of hypertension go down? Oh. Right, because those people have an overall high quality diet because they're eating a lot of fiber from high quality foods. And no, they were not exclusively singling out organic fruits and vegetables. And oh, by the way, even organic foods are sprayed with pesticides. They are just organic pesticides, some of which have less safety data and lower LD50s than the non-organic pesticides. So before you go running for the hills over conventional foods, keep in mind that all crops typically have some form of pesticide on them. And it is more about your overall diet quality. If you are eating a bunch of crap that has pesticides on it, that's going to be worse than eating high quality foods with pesticides on them. You should be focusing on overall diet quality. If you want to eat organic, go ahead, eat organic. I don't personally care. I don't have a horse in that race. Some people say they like the taste of organic food better. All good, awesome, good reason to eat it. But there's very little data to suggest that across the board, organic food is better for you than conventionally farmed food. What you should be focusing on is your overall diet quality. Eating an appropriate amount of calories from minimally processed foods, getting plenty of dietary fiber, and high quality protein from lean meats or animal sources, or if you are vegan, getting enough high quality protein from vegan sources, a little more difficult, but it can be done, and enough dietary fiber. It is your overall diet quality that's gonna make the biggest difference on your overall health outcomes. Is it possible that pesticide exposure makes a difference? Yes, it's possible. But if it was that powerful, simply upping your fiber intake above 17 grams wouldn't make the effect go away. It would be sustained regardless. I'm not saying these things don't matter at all. I am simply saying try to focus on the things that matter most, which is your overall diet quality. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video and I will catch you next week.